Today, I'm going to show you how to make one of Korea's favorite summertime dish, Korean barbecue wrap using blanched cabbage with grilled salmon. Nope, this is not your boring and bland tasting cabbage wrap. This juicy cabbage wrap with grilled salmon and samjang and scallion cucumber salad will literally take you to food heaven. Actually, it would be more like delicious, healthy food heaven. What a great meal to have on those hot summer days where you want to eat something healthy and delicious. This is it for you, folks. 오늘의 레시피 간단하고 맛있는 연어 구이 양배추 쌈 만들기. 오늘도 여러분들과 영어를 함께 하겠습니다. It's so delicious. Cabbage is so juicy, and then the salmon. Oh, who doesn't like salmon? Oh, so good. Hi everyone, this is Helen, and welcome to Modern Pepper. 안녕하세요, Modern Pepper의 Helen입니다. For this recipe, you could use as little or as much of the cabbage as you want. Here I have a head of cabbage and what I'm going to do is, right where the core is, we're going to just cut it down the middle. Like so. What you want to do is cut out the center core like so. And then you want to turn it over and basically peel each leaf from the cabbage head, like that. This is the hardest part of making this delicious salmon cabbage wrap. So anyone could make this delicious dish at home. And it doesn't have to be a perfect piece, so just keep on going. I'm gonna do one more peel, and you could go all the way down to here. I'm gonna blanch about this much, and just for my friends at home that like to know the weight of everything, I'm gonna put this on the scale, let's see. About 475 grams of fresh cabbage leaves. And we're gonna pick the leaves up and put it in our bowl for now. So in a medium-sized pot, add about two-thirds of water and bring it to boil. And to this, we're gonna add about one tablespoon of sea salt. Adding sea salt is very, very important because that's gonna flavor our cabbage leaves. Dunk all of our cabbage leaves into the pot. I need you to make sure that the cabbage leaves are fully submerged in the boiling water. I want you to move it around. So while the heat's remaining high, we're gonna blanch for 60 seconds. So it's been 60 seconds, and as much as it looks like this is too firm, this is done. So we wanna turn off our heat and quickly bring this over to the sink. Pour this into our strainer. Quickly turn on the cold water. This part, very, very important. In addition to only cooking this for 60 seconds, we want to cool down the temperature of our cabbage leaves ASAP. So put it in a bowl, submerge it in cold water, strain it, put it back, and again, fill with cold water again, and rinse again. Once you touch it and it's cold to touch, this is ready. So what you want to do is just gently shake it, like so, and put it on a strainer. And let's have a quick taste test. Sample taste right now to see how delicious our blanched cabbage is. So let's take that piece. Mm. This cabbage is actually sweet tasting right now. It's because we added the salt. The salt enhances the natural flavors of the cabbage and we blanched it for 60 seconds. So it is super crunchy and juicy. This is really important because when you overcook your cabbage, then it starts tasting funky, not so delicious and very, very kind of ugh. 60 seconds top on high heat. Mm. Okay, so you could keep this as is and have it at room temperature, kind of chilled. Or if you want it like super cold, I would wrap this in saran wrap and keep it in your fridge to have it chilled when you're ready to eat. So here I have about a pound and a half of fresh salmon and I highly recommend getting salmon with the skin on. Make sure you clean the scale off. If not, ask your fishmonger to remove the scales for you. It just tastes better and it cooks better with the skin on. To season our salmon, we're gonna put some sea salt, a generous pinch or two. Then we're gonna add some black pepper, just a little bit. And then we're gonna season the other side in the pan. Set your heat to high for about a good one to two minutes until your 
frying pan is preheated. Once your frying pan is preheated, add about a tablespoon of olive oil. And then we're gonna place our salmon down with the flesh part facing down. Like so. Move it around to distribute the oil. Your heat remains at high, and we're gonna cook this for about a good two minutes or until it turns golden brown. And while it's doing that, we're gonna season the skin. Add about two generous pinches of salt and also some black pepper. So I'm moving the pan around to make sure that our salmon gets equal amount of the frying oil love. So it's been about two minutes on high heat, and I'm just gonna take a peek Oh yeah, this is the color we want. This nice golden brown sear to our salmon. Now this is ready to be flipped. So you just go in like that, use your hand as a guide, and then you flip it over. And then you'll notice that the skin is immediately frying and shrinking, and the skin of the salmon is so, so delicious. And super healthy for you too. So we're gonna let this go for another two minutes on high heat. It's been two minutes on high heat and we're just gonna take a peek. Oh yeah, we want our skin to have this nice golden color. This is perfectly done. If you like your salmon cooked rare, this is ready, but I like to have mine kind of medium rare or medium. So I'm gonna turn down the heat to low. I'm gonna place a foil on top loosely like so, and I'm just gonna let this sit at low heat for about a good two minutes. So it's been two minutes on low heat, and we're gonna turn this off completely, and let's take a look. Ooh. For those of you that like your salmon well cooked, keep that foil on for another three to five minutes longer. But for me, this is ready. So we're just gonna pick it up, put it on our plate, like so. Let's make our cabbage wrap. Grab a piece. And then we're gonna add just a little bit of Korean rice. You know, we're trying to make this bite size, right? For me, I always like the fatty part of the salmon first. So I will go in here and take my piece. Ooh, look at that. Look at that. Ooh, so moist. Put it right on top. And then we're gonna grab some samjang. And I have a recipe on how to make samjang, season it so it tastes better. So you could check that out, or you could just buy, order this green box that comes in it. And then we're gonna grab some pamuchim. So this is scallion and cucumbers and other vegetables. It's so good with any Korean barbecue lettuce wraps or cabbage wraps. And I have a recipe for that too, and you could check it out. So you wanna press it down and basically roll it into a shape that you could easily fit into your mouth. Like that and like that. So this part goes into your mouth first. So say, ah, I'm gonna feed you. <laughs> I mean, this one's gonna be hard to do one bite size. So if you take two bites, it's okay. <laughs> bon appetit. Mm. Mm. It's so delicious. Unlike your lettuce wrap, cabbage is so juicy and it has a sweet aftertaste from its natural sugars. This is totally unlike your steamed, baked cabbage casserole that we all grew up having. And then the salmon, oh, who doesn't like salmon? Oh, so good. And then the scallion and the cucumber salad is just adding a, such a yummy taste to this wrap altogether. And for my friends that are on a no carb diet, just don't have any rice with it. And another diet tip, not that I'm good at it, I suck at it. You know, I'm terrible at it. I try, but I suck. I always fail every day. But you could just take a little bit of this juicy cabbage that we blanched and put just a little bit of samjang. Or you could also add the scallion and cucumber salad too, but just the samjang together with our cabbage. Mm. This cabbage is so good. You have to try this. I'm just saying, if you've never had that, you're missing out. So don't miss out, okay? And try this at home. But wait, 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 don't go anywhere because next recipe is on making my all-time favorite classic watermelon dish that I grew up having. It's so, so refreshing. It's cold and you could just literally drink it. 
it's so delicious. So make sure to hit that notification bell and subscribe so we can make this watermelon dish together. I wanna thank you for watching today. And if you enjoyed watching today's video, I wanna kindly, kindly ask you to click on that thumbs up icon and subscribe if you have not done so. And always go to youtube.com slash modern pepper and check out my library of Korean recipes so you and I can make more Korean dishes together. 여러분 오늘 재밌게 보셨으면 꼭 좋아하는 버튼과 구독 버튼도 눌러주세요. 감사합니다. Alright folks, I will see you in one of the videos you see right here. 다음 비디오에서 꼭 뵙겠습니다. Today, I'm going to show you how to <laughs> Korean barbecue lettuce wrap. Oh, no.